what is going on guys welcome back to the channel my name is tyler if you guys are brand new make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button turn on a post notification so that way you guys got notified when i upload a new video leave a like comment share helps a lot i appreciate it if you guys and did so use my code tyler gains on alpha line superhuman for 10 percent off everything linked in the description for my socials and without further ado let's get into the video so as you can see by the title i'm going to be talking about how to put on or how to bulk up by putting on muscle without gaining too much fat so many people get a little confused on bulking there's there's two different types of bulking there's a clean bulk and there is a dirty bulk a clean bulk is essentially eating high quality foods like eggs beef, bacon, all of that without having too many of like those processed carbs or something like the heavier types of carbs versus a dirty bulk, which is essentially eating whatever you want. And you, you're going to get like, you're going to get fat if you eat whatever you want. Doesn't matter if you train, but you're going to get fat. You're not going to see as much muscle, but all of that comes with training. So I'm actually going to go in depth with two of them i'm going to be talking about a little bit more and what kind of side effects and what you can and can't see from it so i'm going to start with clean bulk first of all so clean bulk again essentially eating higher quality foods now where are you getting where are you getting those um high quality foods from a best option you can get it from a whole foods or a farm doesn't doesn't mean you can't get it from any other store but you know those could be high quality i mean high quality like in caps but it doesn't mean you can't get it from a fucking like a walmart or something i'm not that's not what i'm saying but make sure you're finding higher quality foods with the efficient and effective proteins fats all of that because those are very essential for building muscle and just overall the fullness of it and feeling full, again full and satiated and a lot of that comes from you know how hard you are training so if you are eating higher fats for me i mean higher fats higher proteins and low carbs that's what works best for me i don't want to eat all these carbs and feel bloated feel watery that's kind of like not me anymore i'm more of high protein high fats and lower carbs so i have like i rarely have rice fruits are amazing honey dates are amazing a sweet potato not every day but you know what i'm saying but um make sure you're going and getting higher quality foods um high quality steaks are important beef all that bacon's important eggs are important and you're going to need the essential micro and macronutrients and all the essential essential vitamins and minerals that you need in your daily diet to overall see growth and great performance and energy because if you eat like pretty much a it's pretty much a carnivore diet if you're going to be doing clean bulk you're going to be eating um again all of that and see growth over time when you're putting all the effort and hard training in and you're gonna see how much impact it's putting on you. So again, high quality is very important. Quality over quantity, quality over quantity is important. And I've been training for about two years and two months at this point. And yes, it is a process. It, it went by pretty fast, like these times, but you know, I am still seeing little growth and I'm doing the best that I can and you know, you got to do what you got to do and, you know, never give up. Just keep going at it and keep going forward. So that's what a, what my, my um, intake is on for a clean bulk. A dirty bulk, again, you're essentially eating whatever you want. Doesn't matter what it is. You're just eating. That's chips, ice cream, sodas, all that garbage. And... If you're eating that, you're going to be sacrificing all of the all of your essential vitamins that you need in your body to be having great energy, 
feeling well, performance-wise, energy, sleep, all of that. You're not gonna feel, you're going to be feeling cramps and all that for a dirty bowl. So be very mindful and be, be very, I guess, well-known on how these side-by-side -side things work. So I've never done a dirty bulk, no intentions, because I know what the side effects are from it. It's not good. I mean, everyone's going to react, everyone's going to react differently, but you don't ever want to do an, a dirty bulk because again, you're going to sacrifice all of the essential vitamins that you need and you're not going to be feeling optimal. You're not going to be feeling energized or anything. You're going to be feeling, you're going to be having joint pains. You're going to be feeling cramps, bone, like it's not good. So be very mindful of what these things can do to you. Um, but just keep in mind that dirty bulking, it's not, it's not the way because, I mean, if you're training hard in dirty bulking, it's not the same as a clean bulk because you're getting all of the high quality foods and the nutrients that your body needs to repair and refill and re just recover all of your muscles, all the damage that you put on it. And you want to make sure you're being consistent with what you're doing with workout wise. So, yeah. And I forgot to mention this, but I am also going to be going through like the workouts. I just not finished with a clean bulk versus a dirty bulk. So now I'm going into more depth with putting on muscle. So it's basically a two in one at this point. So make sure you guys are again, leaving like and subscribing, all of that good stuff. Support me in many ways and everything is in the description as per usual in every one of my videos. So now for the training. If you're a beginner, you don't ever want to be pushing yourself to failure failure because you're brand new to the gym. You want to you don't want to put all that stress on your body yet. You want to like start slow and work your way up over time just to get the feel of it and just to see where you are at. So if you were a beginner, which mm. I was, so I'm more of I guess intermediate two years and two months of training. Mm. As a beginner, I had a what is it? Um, a personal trainer kind of like guide me and walk me through like how these machines work and how everything kind of like kind of how things work and how, how it goes so I remember it too I did tricep extensions I did the machine little um dumbbell curl thing and I think I did a hammer I don't even know I just remember those two um so when you're training you want to be very specific you don't want to like go in the gym train training and just like wasting your time with exercises that are not effective you want to work the muscles very well and concise so beginner wise you want to start slow start smart smart start like kind of like heavy or not heavy fuck don't start heavy start slow work your way up just go light and don't push yourself to failure when it gets to that point when you can't do anymore just kind of like stop right there and don't be in the gym for more than an hour that's my experience because you don't want to overload your body too much. You don't want to stress it too much because you're brand new. You want to start slow and get the feel of it and just kind of like work around it and kind of like get the gist of it. So just work your way up slow. Just be smart with it. And recovery is important. You want to like, you know, make sure you're hydrating well. Um, stretching, doing mobility is very important. Getting sunlight morning and evening that's important again nutrition is important quality over quantity do the best that you can your training will get very better because strength comes first and it's muscle again muscle takes time to develop over time it takes months months and months and years and years and years some people very rarely will see it in like months but i guess that's genetics right but you know you want to be smart with uh workouts so the workouts for me that were effective at the time and still are i love doing these i love doing preacher curls those are very effective i make sure i go heavy at the end of my uh like couple of sets chest mach or machine uh chest presses are important for me i love doing uh seated shoulder press presses those are uh those are great any tricep extensions I recently be doing the little pull down with the 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 tricep rope thing. That's effective. It gets your lats, gets your pretty much your entire arm, biceps, your um 
the tricep and just your back, just your back. And I find those very effective for me to make sure you're doing smart things. Don't injure yourself. Just don't ego, don't be that person who ego lifts. Like my, my gosh, just be smart with your training, work hard. And for somebody who's been training for a while, not just for me, but for anybody else, train to failure. You want to push the fuck. You want to be going crazy. You want to go crazy. Just be this. Just be a super sane beast. Pushing to failure is so important. Um, overloading is important. Recovery and resting in between sets is important. At least two to three minutes for me. Sometimes four. It's important. Um, don't be going crazy. Like don't do so much exercises to where you're like damaging your body so much getting proper recovery is important and doing the best that you can and you'll see progress so i mean i guess that's about it right just make sure you're getting quality foods and just i mean if you're eating quality foods you're not going to overeat i mean you can try but i don't know if much is going to happen but obviously not but make sure you're eating quality foods Sufficient protein is so important. Um, for someone who's five, around 5'11", 185 to about 187-ish morning weight. And by the end of the day, I'm like 189. I think I can, I think I can improve more by putting on at least six to eight pounds of muscle. So I got to train hard, very hard, which I do, but you know, I'm sacrificing most of my nutrition which is not an excuse so you know you gotta do what you gotta do you gotta do the best that you can and just kind of wait for the right time and the right opportunity just to like do better and just be healthy otherwise physically mentally all that is so important so i mean what else is there to say so i hope this video was helpful let me know in the comments if I missed anything or if I could explain it a lot better. Did these, I guess, tips help helped you? We'll keep it, keep it in mind. So that is it for the video. Make sure you guys are subscribing, turn on the post notifications so that way you guys get notified when I upload a new video. Liking, all that is very important for me. Sharing the videos helps a lot. Make sure you guys are doing that, showing love using my code TylerGains on Alpha Lion Superhuman. If you guys do to decide to pick up a tub or the sample packets, those are get the sample packets. If you're not really fully committed or if you want to try one of the samples and you get the tub, there you go. So everything is linked in the description. And thank you guys for all the support on the road to, I guess, 2K. So doing everything I can, working hard, working smarter, getting out as much content, summer content is coming on. So I don't know what I got planned. Make sure you guys are, you know, getting up to date with those notifications. And um, I guess that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Love you. God bless. And see you guys in the next one.